Ladies and gentlemen, it's your lovely friend, Josh. Today, I'm here to give you something new, a review, because it's something I want to try out on this channel. Because I've been very absent, as you know, I'm trying to figure out my projects and whatever. But as I was figuring out my projects all this time, I realized there's so much hype around everything nowadays. You have people talking about James Cameron's new Avatar film, because people are all of a sudden obsessed with blue people. When, literally, I saw the film in theaters, it was okay. I mean, I can go online and watch it again if I want. But then you have people going off about Megan or Megan or whatever, the new Blumhouse movie. Because Blumhouse is still making spooky horror films. Not that they're all bad, but besides the point. A doll dancing, when I could probably dance better than that doll in that movie. And then you have people going off about The Last of Us, because that was shot in Can Alberta, Canada, you know? That's where I live. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's a good show. Gotta give credit where it's due. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here on my ass, still thinking about this experimental film. Shot in Edmonton, Alberta, budget of $15,000. Skin of rank, directed by Kyle Edward Ball. I will say, I saw it when it was leaked online. Because when I heard everyone on TikTok and shit, they're all like, oh, it's the scariest movie ever. <clears throat> I don't believe that shit, because scary is perspective. Not everything's gonna be scary to everyone. Certain things are gonna be more scary to other people. We get it, okay? So when I hear that, I don't believe it. But something about this movie intrigued me. I don't know if it was because it was shot in the same country as me, where I live, or if it was because the budget or what. No, it was because it's unique. It looked original, it looked new. So I took the shame, watched it online, and then I fell in love with it. And then I watched it twice in theaters, because I fell in love with it. You know? So the film's about two children waking up in the middle of the night. And their parent, their, 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 their father's gone. Things are disappearing. And that's it. This is definitely one of the most effective films I have ever seen. When my skin feels this cold numbness and a little tingle in my ankles, that's when I know a film is good. Definitely the first 20, 40 minutes will be a drag for some people. I do agree, 20 minutes should have been taken out of this film, but that alone, what the artistic nature of this film is, it's a lot of ceiling shots, hallways, and dark rooms, and it tends to mess with your mind. Now, some people will be bored with that, absolutely understandable. I have a friend that was bored with it, but finds an appreciation with the film, and then I have another friend that doesn't like the film, but does find appreciation with the film. That's the thing, people need to find more appreciation, less negativity. Because you know what, for all the people that are like, oh, there's no story to this film, oh, there's, there's no character development, how it was shot was all lazy. No, shut up. There's a story, it's just thin. You have to, you have to figure it out yourself, okay? You're not gonna be spoon fed. And how it was shot was in a unique way. Because what do you do when you go to bed? You look at the ceiling, you look down the hall, you know, you, you, you're stiff. That's what the film is. The last five minutes is f extremely unsettling to me. I don't say this is the scariest movie ever, but it's one of the, it's up there. It's pretty up there. And it's a film that I appreciate because of the small budget and that it was shot in Edmonton. It, may, it gives me hope on what I can do as a filmmaker. And that's why I, I personally had a more conne big connection with this film. But every, like, I think people are just f floored by it, really. This is how unique it is. But that's all I can really say about this film. I can't, I don't want to spoil it. There's nothing really to spoil, but there's a lot to go, because it's all in self-interpretation. So I say Skinner gets a good solid four out of five for me. Um, it's very understandable where all the criticism comes from. I say go check it out. Please though, give it a chance, be patient. Put your fucking phone away, turn the lights off, don't have any distractions. This film, you need to focus on it for it to work. And it's on Shutter, Amazon Prime. It's on there now, so you can watch it legally. Mm-hmm, yeah. So go for it. 
in this house. Oh my God. That's that line from the trailer. <laughs> 